What's up guys? It's a long time after I fished today, but I didn't make an interest in doing it now, so today me and I went to this pond that's like in the middle of a canyon. It's like a half mile walk to there, through like a thick field, and you gotta walk along the edge of this cliff, or like the bottom of it, and the pond is so steep, it just drops straight down. I don't know how deep it is. I think it's like at least 10 feet deep, so see what we caught today. We were going for crappy, and I was, I was actually going for bass, but I ended up catching some crappy, so see what we caught. Oh, I see a bass right here on a on a bed. Let's try to get it. Oh, I scared it. <laughs> Never mind. He's moving after it. But he's not doing anything with it. Making him angry. He's opening his mouth now to it. Got him, I got him. On a bed. First fish on a bass jig. I got I worked him for like ten minutes at least on that bed. Got him angry and he ate. I'm gonna weigh this guy. We have fifteen ounces. Oh a pound, we got a pound. First pound fish on the new scale. You got another one? That's a fish. Oh, it's a crappy. Yeah. Barely hit it. Crappy on a fluke. It's a nice crappy. We're gonna eat it. I got one. Yeah. That's a little one. My little ones. This log in the water here might be good. I don't even cast by it. There's a fish. I got a crappie. Yeah. Another nice crappie. This is the part where I first started using the fluke and I first started catching fish with it. I threw it in and instantly something took it. Oh, I got a, a fish chase after it. Oh, it was a big bluegill. Big pumpkin seed. Yeah, I think I threw it over in there somewhere. I let it hit the bottom. The suit hit the bottom and just took it. And I, I wasn't expecting it, so like I just let it go. And it came off, and then I did the same thing and I got it. I think so. A log.
Yeah, there's a fish. Oh, it's a bass. I got a bass. Not really. It just jumped. Little bass, more than the first one I caught. I'm not even gonna measure it or weigh it at all. What if I have an underwater case and I'm doing underwater releases because this pond is super clear. I did one in here before and it was so clear, like 11 inch bass, maybe that size. I don't know what just happened to this fluke. Oh, it's broken. That other bass destroyed the fluke. I think it's Sanko's after this one. I don't know if I have any, any, any flukes left. They're right there. I don't know if the fish or not. That's there's one. I got one. I felt him. Just, I felt a tap. Oh, my fluke's gone. No, it's still there. Little bass. They're just getting smaller and smaller. Oh, he absolutely swallowed it. Nice little bass. I see a bass out there. Sometimes it's just up here don't want to eat. It sucks. I don't care. He does not care at all. I have a perfect bait for a bed, but I don't want to change anything right now. It's not a jig. It's like a little tiny, tiny swim bait. That bat, I think it's that bass's bed right there. It's not. I just swam right by it. Thanks for watching this video at this awesome pond. I had a great time. Fishing was awesome when I first started, but then it kind of died down, but that's typical with this pond. Only in the middle of the day, it just shuts off. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.